it's June, we're almost at the halfway point of the year, which is kind of crazy to say, but that also means that it's Summer Game Fest with big reveals for Assassin's Creed, Xbox, and hopefully many surprises. Want to touch on that? Brand new Spider-Man 2 details and way, way more. Let's start the weekly news round of video with Final Fantasy, in particular the 7 Part 2 remake that I did kind of miss during the PlayStation Showcase, announced the last year for next winter, so winter 2023, and now on Twitter they note that the development is progressing smoothly and according to plan and how they're working on nailing down a release date so sounds like either December 2023 or early 2024 is still on the table. 7 is my favorite Final Fantasy universe with of course the awesome Crisis Core that we had last year so hopefully we get more info on the part 2 remake soon but we likely get that after Final Fantasy 16 releases on June 22nd. We'll totally be covering the game here on the channel, I really can't wait, and seems like the demo is coming soon as well, with it already showing up for people who pre-ordered the game, even though they can't access it yet. Square Enix will host a pre-launch celebration for the game on June 11th, so I totally expect them to shadow drop the demo there. Let me know if you're looking forward to Final Fantasy 16, and again, expect tips and other spoiler-free coverage here here on the channel. Of course, we're going to do a ton of Spider-Man 2 videos as well. Check out our gameplay trailer breakdown via the link in the video description if you haven't already. And we actually got some new info since that gameplay reveal. I was, for example, kind of missing the jokes in the footage. Well, creative director Brian Intahar assured us that there will still be a good balance between those darker teams and characters, but that they will also be delivering a very human story where there's a lot of heart and humor. So while a big part of the game will obviously be about Peter slowly losing losing himself, which will then also impact the relationships around him, the game will still have plenty of charm, Insomniac is known for, as well as the human stories of the people behind their superhero masks. I think that's good to hear, because we did not really see that yet. We also learned that with Queens and Brooklyn now added to the map, the map size is about two times larger than the previous games. And we of course saw that during story missions, the game dictates who you play and when you switch from Peter to Miles, while in the open world, you can, with one press of the button, switch between both characters. There are some Peter and Miles specific missions, although some activities in the open world can also be completed with both characters, so they can choose who you want to play. There's one skill tree for Peter, likely focused on his symbiote powers, one for Miles to improve his evolved venom powers, and one shared skill tree, likely for the gadgets, as they both use the same ones. They want to announce the pre-order bonuses and additions and release dates very soon, so I'm keeping an eye out, and of course we'll report back when we know more. But first, we will get a ton of other reveals, including including for Assassin's Creed. Of course, if you like the video so far, then leaving a like would really support the channel and subscribe because I post a news round of video like this every Sunday. Maybe you already saw the Ubisoft 4 teaser they posted for the event, of course, happening on June 12th. It's really short, but a couple of things stand out, including this. Wait, what's that game? So yeah, they're teasing some unannounced stuff, with of course the rumors circulating that it could be Ubisoft Star Wars game that is seemingly planned for 2024, so we might see it at the event. What we know for sure though is that the crew Motorfest will be there with new leaks suggesting that all your Crew 2 cars will carry over, and also leaks from beta testers have been really positive, saying that the game already seems finished, so... I expect a release quickly after the event. Avatar Frontiers of Pandora will also finally get new gameplay and hopefully a release date as the game should be out in 2023 or early 2024. And by watching the show live on my Twitch channel, you can by the way earn a weapon trinket for when the game launches. And you get this Twitch drop during the first 15 minutes. So it makes me think that they will start with Avatar and I really hope that the gameplay convinces me. Like I want this game to be good, but so far I'm not convinced yet so hopefully they surprise us and going back to those twitch drops because you can also earn a eugene raven skin for assassin's creed for Hala, the parrot skin that was already in the game from like a while back an old item pack more interesting though is the oasis initiate of alamudai for mirage so a color skin for our outfits which is pretty cool 
Like, of course, Mirage is going to be there. Ubisoft already confirmed it on Twitter. But that is far from the only Assassin's Creed related thing. The full reveal of Assassin's Creed Nexus VR is happening on June 12th. With the game coming to MetaQuest 2, MetaQuest Pro and the newly announced MetaQuest 3 later this year. We only got this video with the logo so far. Seems like they're really going to call it Assassin's Creed Nexus. Leaks already suggested that the game should have 16 individual missions. So that will see players step in the first person perspective of some of the series most legendary assassins Ezio, Connor and Cassandra. I'm totally curious to see it I might dust off my Oculus Quest 2 for this but I'm more interested in Assassin's Creed codename Jade. It seems like we're getting a cinematic trailer for that game on June 12th if the image with the tweet is any indication. And this is that ancient China mobile game that looks a lot like Odyssey with the leaked footage from the iPhone test earlier this year actually looking very impressive. So curious what they will reveal here with hopefully some info on a release timing as well. So yeah, I talked about everything Ubisoft announced that will be there, but where is Skull and Bones? It's not shown in the trailer or in the blog post while it's a full priced $70 game. And like having a Twitch drop for that game would have made way more sense than giving away an old skin for Valhalla. Also on Twitter, all the game accounts for the titles that will be at the event are teasing Ubisoft Forward. But the final tweet from the Skull and Bones account is from January 16th. So there is a chance that Skull and Bones will not even show up at the Ubisoft Forward event. Which is just wild to think about. Maybe they will cancel it after all like what a story this game is. Like it was supposed to come out like any day now so I don't know I thought it was worth noting now totally do expect the Division mobile game Rainbow Six Mobile X Defiant and the Division Heartlands are probably going to be there too but my hope next to that Star Wars game is that they will also like at least tease the next Immortals title with Tom Henderson actually saying that it's coming along great. But yeah, it seems like there will be a 2024 game and maybe around the launch of the next Switch. I think it will be a fun Ubisoft Forward show. Don't get your hopes up for the Splinter Cell remake though. It's progressing, but I think they will save it for next year and beyond Good and Evil 2 like... I don't know if that game like even exists anymore. On June 11th, one day before the Ubisoft show, Xbox will of course host their event. They are teasing Fable, but then they also are saying that they're not. Either way, I think it will be a really great show to watch. And we also have that in-depth look at Starfield directly after. I will leave links to all our live reactions in the pinned comments so you can already set a reminder. And of course, follow us on Twitch for the Ubisoft Forward at Twitch Drops. But our first live react will be for the Summer Game Fest kickoff show on June 8th with Jeff Keighley. Mortal Kombat 1 a gameplay reveal will be there, a gameplay demo for Alan Wake 2, and a new look at Lies of P has already been announced. The game is planned for August and coming to Game Pass Day 1. In terms of things that I expect will be there, include a new look at the open world RPG Atlas Fallen that I think looks very promising. Hideo Kojima could totally show up with Death Stranding 2 as he is big buddies with Jeff of course. Maybe we get a good gameplay look at Armored Core as we haven't really seen some raw footage yet for as far as I know. I know people want to see the Elder Ring DLC. I'm not sure if we will see it because it still seems far away, but it could happen. I do expect Crimson Desert to be here, the open world RPG from the Black Desert creators, just like Payday 3 that is still on track for 2023. So a reveal at the event I think makes a lot of sense. If I could pick one game though, I hope we get an update on Where Winds Meet, the title that was announced at Gamescom last year. I really love this look that we got at this open world Ghost of Shima style game is set in China so could be cool. Cyberpunk DLC will of course also be at the event with a release probably pretty soon after the gameplay reveal on June 8th and we now also learned that The Witcher 3 sold 50 million copies and that's insane. It namely means that it's the ninth best-selling game of all time just below Red Dead Redemption 2. Like CD Projekt Red's got gold in their hands if they don't screw up Witcher 4. And we see that a big part of their development team is working on this new Witcher game with the biggest share still being on the Cyberpunk DLC. But you would think that after that DLC is out, which again will be very soon, that most of these devs go work on the Witcher game or probably already move on to the Cyberpunk sequel that was already announced. So yeah, 
future looks kind of bright for CDPR, especially if the DLC is any good. I went to the Across the Spider-Verse movie, by the way, and that's my highlight all right of the week. Very easy. Go watch it in cinema. Like, do yourself a favor. It's really, really amazing. You can leave questions in the comments under this video that I then might answer in the next video. Did not see any interesting questions last week, so please keep them coming so I can, like, answer them here. And this coming week will, of course, be all about Diablo 4. I'm really having a blast with the game, so expect tips and tricks. And we will be live reacting to all the Summer Game Fest showcases. Again, links to those in the pinned comments. And, of course, we'll make videos on those as well. So, yeah, the next Sunday video will maybe not be on Sunday. Because, again, the Xbox show and the Ubisoft show are, like, on Sunday and Monday. Just keep it posted. I will, like, put up a video like this. But it might be, like, in a different time frame. Then after that, we will be back every Sunday. So subscribe to not miss it. A like on the video would, of course, really help me out. And check out my previous video on the PlayStation Showcase and my thoughts for if you haven't watched it yet by clicking on the screen. I will speak to you soon. Goodbye.